Lee and President Pierpaolo, thank you so much for the invite. Everyone else, thank you so much for the opportunity uh, to share what's happening in education. I'm going to share my screen, and behind me you can see our Global Learning Center here on the campus of Oral Roberts University in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, we have a, students from 120 nations attending Oral Roberts University. Uh, it's well versed in what's happening around the world and what students are looking for, but also what's changed since the pandemic, uh, I think is vital for everyone. And so again, you can see ORU.edu if you need to get a hold of Oral Roberts University, uh, my title. Uh, I'm gonna start, if you wouldn't give me a thumbs up if you can see my slide in a good way, it'll help me. All right, perfect. Okay, so we all have to recognize we've reached sort of a tipping point. Amazon, Jeff Bezos comes up with his five words that he believe has changed the world from Amazon's perspective. And it's simply this, create more than you consume. A lot of people might think about different things, but I believe that he's right on spot or spot on, I should say, with create more than you can consume. And so collectively around the world, we've reached a tipping point where we've created more solutions than we can actually consume. That behooves each of us to find a way to allow everyone to equitably consume the creative means in which to receive education, knowledge, and intelligence. So often we're trapped in the words called adoption, education, which are so broad, it doesn't fix much of anything. So when you start creating those solutions that actually address the underlying principles of education, such as passing knowledge, passing intelligence, passing with wisdom, you've reached a great point. So there was a recent report by the National Intelligence Council called Global Trends 2040. And Global Trends 2040 takes every nation around the world and every region around the world and tells you how well they're surviving or will survive into the future. Another report shares the 125 leading cities and nations around the world, but it's all around education and the hyper-connected world. And so we are already living in a hyper-connected world, but we don't see it that way very often. At Oral Roberts University, we saw this probably 10 years ago already. How do you take not just the smartphone, but start embedding all the hyper-connectedness that really will warrant people to be educated? So five years ago, maybe six, we were reaching 85 nations. Now we're up to 121 nations on our way to 195. Why? Because the world has become truly hyper-connected. There's $30 billion more going into sub-Saharan sub Africa to make sure that nobody can use the excuse anymore, we don't have internet connection. So that problem will be solved very simply. All this to say, the world has become smaller. So the, you can see the source on the right side, there's a magazine, front cover of Laura Roberts University, featuring the fact that if we can think of not technology, but human beings, we will be far better off using this hyper-connected world and creating more than we can consume. So we believe it's called putting the well-being of students in the design of technology. All the technology in the world hasn't solved much of anything. It's really when you design and leverage the pieces of technology and switch it around and don't call it technology 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, but call it what it should be, civilization 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, because then we flip the dial a little bit and say, let's care about people more than the technology. And that's exactly what we've done at Oral Roberts University. So we now live in the day, whether it's a smartphone, every student at Oral Roberts University has a Fitbit, a wearable, and they have a smartphone. And so we now know that the only way to measure if people are actually learning anything is it's called cognitive load is when their heart rate increases by three to four percentage points. So every individual in the world now can find out if they're actually learning or you don't have to start using the word adopted anymore because you already know people are interested in learning the right things. However, we also know that Fortnite or gamification accelerates the learning in the mind itself by a thousand percent. That means that to have uh, training as we knew it 100 years ago, 50 years ago, 10 years ago, or five years ago really isn't accelerating or engaging the mind. Individuals will always learn best when they're engaged and immersed into themselves or an experience. And so we've been able to at Oral Roberts University be ranked uh, in the top 10 engaging universities in the world by Wall Street Journal and Inside Higher Education simply by leveraging 
not technology by itself, but finding out how it truly interacts with students. So learning can be improved by 1400% when the solution is made simple. Everyone's always trying to make things complex, but the goal really is to make it simple. And so as we simplify things, we do have to understand the complexity of what's happening around the world. And so Oral Roberts University in the past six years has proven that you can expand, improve, and help all countries when you simplify technology and focus on humans versus that technology. And we'll call it human wear. And I love the t-shirt that one of the gentlemen in telemedicine shared. Uh, the t-shirt is a new wearable and allows people to monitor things they never could before. So Or Roberts University has taken artificial intelligence and everything that Amazon has developed called Amazon Skills and made it available on a mirror. That's a mirror that you look into. So you take the simplicity of a mirror that people have used for thousands of years to look in in the morning, it actually nudges you in the right direction because all the intelligence of the world is via that mirror. So Or Roberts University has been able to put the National Depression Test, the National Anxiety Test on that mirror. So somebody walks by the mirror and simply says, launch PHQ-9, and it allows them to find out how healthy and well their mind is functioning at that particular time. All the intelligence of the world of that hyper-connected world is now packaged in one simple Amazon Fire Stick, and you can play it on a mirror, you can play it on a smart TV or on your smartphone. Whatever the case may be, you can play it. So here's really the thought on the left is what the Intelligence Council came up with. The hyperconnected world on the right is what Oral Roberts University has designed. It's the uh, blended operating system that allows people to be interacted with themselves and all the intelligence of the world. So we no longer need to be fooled with fake news because artificial intelligence can truly sense through fake news. So any skill at any level, at any location can be viewed on a mirror, a monitor, a wearable, or a carryable, thanks to Oral Roberts University and Amazon for this global breakthrough. So here you see our student, Jordan Rawlinson, receiving his digital diploma on blockchain from our vice president or chief academic officer, Dr. Kathleen Reed Martinez. All students around the world now can act as if they're living and thriving in that digital world. So simply put, it allows everything to act like a vending machine, no different than you would see a vending machine at any international airport selling parts that we live in that digital world. But thanks to Amazon and the foresight of a lot of things Oral Roberts University is working on that is solved. So here's the, the closing statement, really. We, people have been talking about helping the world, but only 6% of the world has any form of post high school diploma certificate or degree. Think of how embarrassing that is when we have all this technology, we just haven't integrated it in a simple fashion. And we're already seeing those numbers climb by taking a look at things from a different perspective. So you can see that Bitcoin itself has far outpaced all the largest companies in the world. But that same concept is true if we would leverage blockchain in the educational world, it completely flips things into the right side. And for the sake of other things, crypto universe is alive and well today. Last month, there was a report that reported that 50 percent, it's a tipping point, of all global assets are no longer in banks. That was the tipping point people have been waiting for because we no longer will count things the way we counted them before and things will appear differently than we have. And we're back to the statement, create more than you consume. We've created so much technology in the world, we just haven't consumed it in an appropriate and simplistic manner to help grow the 6% of people, or the I should say 94% of the people who have not been educated past high school in a different way. So Oral Roberts University is working on a crowdsourcing effort to say, what if we could take the number one national debt called student loan debt and allow students to mine Bitcoin or a cryptocurrency and pay off their own debt? Or better yet, why not let them pay for their college degree or the education they need by mining Bitcoin? It's taken a proven technology that's already been created and leveraging it for the betterment of the world. Thank you so much, President Pierpaolo and everyone for inviting Oral Roberts University to be part of this presentation. I'll stop my screen.